How's it going guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to start a track like Fred again. I finally got around to watching his interview with Zane Lowe. I definitely recommend watching it if you haven't already. It's really interesting to see his mindset about making music, live performance and things like that. One part of it that really caught my attention, I know it wasn't this part. It was actually the part later on where he explains about listening to drones for hours on end. Drones? Mm, always. Always. Beautiful, gorgeous. Listen to the way those notes merge together. It's so beautiful. Bit of that. Even just with yeah. the EQ. I this mean, is what I do. This is what you, sits with Brian is hours of just seeing how that drone evolves. <laughs> I've got hours of video of us just, and I love it. Like I play these like around my house for hours and hours of every day because it just like shapes your experience. But then the, um, so like if you have the original poem, like- It's pretty water, regardless, as invincible as canned food in two by fours, I found you exploding, brimstone on your lips, tattooed with the fury as warm as the sun used to be. I found you beautiful. And then you can start like tuning him so he goes like I found you beautiful. I found you In this clip he basically explains that he starts with a drone and a vocal and by changing the notes of the drone it actually changes the whole mood of the track. So today I'm going to be showing you how we go about doing this and why you should be doing it too. Let's have a look at creating the drone. So for the sound we're going to be using Serum. I've picked a preset for my UK Garage Volume 2 pack. You can use any preset, it's just got to be a nice plucky sound. As with every song you should then pick a key. I'm going to go for B minor just picks it random. If you're using Ableton 11, you can select the key of B minor. Um, I'm just for the sake of the tutorials, I've been using number 10, but yeah, these are the notes. Great, so I've put in the notes for B minor. If you're in Ableton 11, you can just put it in key and scale mode, but I'm using 10 for the sake of these tutorials because a lot of people are still using 10 and they want to use the project still. But yeah, so let's start by putting in a few notes. So, Great, so it sounds pretty cool already. What we can then do is drag all the way to the start. We then want to use a reverb. So there's tons of different reverbs you can use. You can use ones from Valhalla, uh, the Ableton Stock reverb, any you want. Uh, for this one, I'm going to use the Valhalla ones, but honestly, I'll probably use a different one after just to show you. The first one I'm going to start with is the Vintage Verb. This is probably my favorite reverb. I just think it looks really cool um, and it just makes me want to use it. So what we've got to do is go to halls that generally what you want to use or huge spaces. So let's go for concert wave or you can go for rooms. You can really use anything as long as it's got a long decay. Uh, so yeah, let's go for huge spaces and let's go for home blade, home star blade run. That sounds cool. So let's drag the decay all the way up 70. Let's maybe open up some of the high end, cut out a bit of the low end. Don't really know what half of this stuff does, so we'll just leave that. Let's hear what it sounds like. Sounds pretty good if you ask me. As you can hear, the volume gets quieter. So there's two sort of different ways you can approach this. You can put it in a sampler. So if we just bounce this down, freeze, flatten, and we open up a sampler. We can then drag a piece of that into the sampler. Oh, break the whole thing and then we can loop it so if we put it like this drag down there and we put it on a note it's just going to continuously play that if we play that it will then keep going forever see it just bounces back on itself we could then even make that smaller or bigger 
as you can hear, there's a little bit of a, a clip, so I can just put this crossfade in. Great, so that's one way of doing it. The other way is to add a delay. So if we go to audio effects, let's use the echo. Yeah, so you can use a delay like this and if you put it on 100% feedback it's going to play out forever because it's in a continuous feedback loop. I've then used this EQ to take out some of the low end and some of the weird frequencies that I weren't really vibing with. So yeah, this is more atmospheric, I probably prefer this to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's two different ways and there's also a third way you can do it. Great, so for this next one I'm going to show you how to do it with a different reverb. So this is actually a free reverb from Valhalla, so it's called Super Massive. So it's sort of a delay slash reverb. I don't know what it is. It's sick though. Um, and it's got these cool presets. So let's go for reverbs. You could also use one of these super massive ones. So these are really cool. So let's say this one sounds good. So again, although it's a drone, it sounds completely different to the, the original reverb one or... Great, so let's do an experiment. And let's see how the sound changes when we change the notes of the drone. So we're both using the exact same preset. So the pluck simples. We are then going to go to or say to A, sorry, to track A. And these are the notes that we've put in. So F, D, A, and B. We then in B, let's put in some more random notes. Maybe put a few up here. Let's see how it changes the sound of it. And I've got this vocal here from Splice. Sounds like this. So that's it with nothing, just a bit of reverb on it. And let's hear it with Drone A. And we've used the exact same super massive preset on both. We are Stardust. Great, and let's hear it with number B, which has more notes, higher notes. It's got just a more different range of notes in it. So I'd say number two was a lot more emotional, had more sort of tension in it as well. And let's just hear it with these ones we made earlier. So yeah, that's pretty cool as well. And just lastly, with the first one, Great, let me know in the comments which one you like the most. 